Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Club by Chandan Story and today we're gonna review the Mipa ROM or the MIPA ROM version 0.1.2 and in the last video I showed you how to install the version 0.1.1 and I just updated it with the OTA update zip file you just have to flash it it is really simple and I've already updated it to the version 0.1.2 First of all, the ROM is based on the S6 edges, no good firmware, so that is that simple. So it is not that special, it is not brought, it is not that ported from another device, but it makes a great case for this ROM because uh, it is highly stable, so that is great. And the ROM does come with the S8 launcher, so that is great as well. The phone looks really amazing with this launcher, I, know, I really don't know why, but I really love this launcher and it is really simple and all. And I downloaded a deep bloated version and it is actually highly deep bloated and it does not even come with my favorite browser the Samsung browser and I really love that browser but it is not there so it is a really highly deep bloated version of this ROM so as you can see you have selection of these applications with the deep bloated version. The camera in this ROM is straight away from the S6 and nothing special is over here and you do need to download more camera modes if you want to use them and everything is from the uh, the whole camera is from the s6 so nothing special over here and the rom comes with this palette settings which is like the rom control and it helps you customize your rom to a greater extent and you have many different settings over here you have a custom battery icons battery bar this is the battery bar which shows you the battery uh, right now and you have the virtual buttons and all in the status bar you have notification panel as well over here you have system settings phone settings lock screen and all so you have many different settings over here so you can customize your rom and make it your own according to your needs so that is a great feature to have so the volte on this rom is not working and as you can see i'm using the geo 4g right now but don't you worry i have already made a video about how to get uh, volte working on the custom roms and it is for the galaxy s6 edge uh, the galaxy s6 edge plus the note 5 and more phones of the galaxy series so link to that video will be over here and it fixes your geo volte e problem over here so the rom does not come with the always on display so let's go into the display settings and as you can see there's no always on display option over here the rom does not come with the always on display but the blue light filter works and it is my favorite feature you can say it is my favorite feature to use at night but i think it is a bit too filtery or yellowish for my taste so i reduce it down all the advanced features in the settings seem to work almost every feature seems to work so we go into this advanced features you uh, enable the one-handed mode it works your quick launch works smart gestures palm gestures it all works so that is a great feature and let's go into the battery life and the battery life seems to hold up pretty good and as you can see the standby time has been two days and 20 hours and the battery life is reduced to 61% only and the phone was not at 100% to begin with I think it was around 80% to begin with and that is a great standby time and I've been using it for the last I guess an hour or so and it is giving me a really really great battery life so the battery life is great on this room and moving out you have your power saving mode which seems to work pretty good and my favorite feature is the maximum power saving mode it is just amazing so i really love the maximum power saving mode and it seems to work just fine so that is really great and moving into the accessibilities the directional lock does work and it is really fun way to mess around with your friends and show them that you have a secret lock screen so that is a really great feature Moving on to the about device, you have the model number of the Galaxy S6 Edge and the Android version is 7.0 once again and that is that with the about device and as you can see in this review that the ROM is really snappy and you will not experience any lag in this ROM but I do recommend reducing the animation skills because 
because the animations are uh, too slow and I always recommend scaling down the animation scale so it makes your phone nice and snappy and you feel that the phone is going really fast so I think that's it and if you want a great battery life with a snappy performance and deep bloated version of the ROM go with the Meeper ROM and I haven't encountered any bugs yet and that is a great thing so I think that's it if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share the video and thanks for watching guys